हेलो एवरीवन दिस क्वेश्चन इज अबाउट लॉन्गेस्ट रिमेनिंग टाइम फास्ट लॉन्गेस्ट रिमेनिंग टाइम फास्ट एलगोरिदम सी पी शेडिंग एलगोरिदम सी दिस क्वेश्चन आक्स इन गेट टू थाउजेंड सिक्स देर सेम टू फाइंड टर्न अराउंड टाइम दे आर गिवेन थ्री प्रोसेस एंड दे आर सेम टू फाइंड आउट दवरेज टर्न अराउंड टाइम सी दिस 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 आर द्री प्रोसेस देव गिवेन एरेवेल टाइम जीरो एवरी प्रोसेस हैविंग एरेवेल टाइम जीरो and they have given bash time now they are saying to find the completion time and turn around time so we will see see we have to draw the first the gantt chart this is called gantt chart see in previous session you have seen the shortest remaining time first in that one we have seen the process which are having shortest bash time execute first and here it will be happen here it will be means the process are having highest burst time it will execute first means it will run first in the ready state see process p1 will come first see all the processes are available because they are starting from zero and see which processes are having high burst time see process p p number process p3 having highest burst time is 8 so process p3 will come first in the running state and it will start from zero and how much it will run it will run for 4 units because process p2 is also having 4 units so it will run up to 4 units so it will run up to 4 units now which process will come see now after i see p2 and p3 having these two process are having same bus time 4 and 4 so when two bus time are same for two processes then the process id which are lawyer it will come first Now see process P two means process I do which is lawyer. See P two, so P two is less than P three, so P two will come and it will run for more one units. It will run for more one. It will become three, so it will run for it will become five. Now which one is having highest bus time? See P three is having highest bus time, so P three will come and it will run for again one unit. It will become six, so it will become three. It will become six. Now see which one is having highest bus time. So P two. So P two will come again in the running state, and it will run for again one units, and it will become two, and it will become seven units. Now which one will come? P three. P three will run again. It will for one units, and it will become two units. So now see. Now it's interesting. See. Now these three process having same bus time. Two, two, two. Now so now which one will come? The process which are having lawyer process ID. So P one will come and it will execute first. How much units it will run? It will run for one unit, so it will become nine. Now which will come P two? It will run for one unit, so it will become ten. Now P three will come. It will run for one unit, so it will become eleven. So this both two will become one one. Now same thing. P process P one will come again. It will run for again one unit. It will become twelve, so it will become zero. Similarly, it will become zero zero. So P two will come. It will run for one units, and the, at the last, P three will come and it will run for one units, one units. So it will become forty. So now we have to write the completion time. What is the completion time of P three? The completion time of P three is fourteen units. What is the completion time of P two? See, these are the completion time. So P two is thirteen, and what is the completion time of P one? See, is twelve. So twelve. So see, they are saying to find the average turn around time. Saying to find the average turn around time. So we have to know the what is the formula of turn around time. So I have told you in previous videos what is the formula: completion time minus arrival time. Completion time minus arrival time. So what is the completion time twelve and what is the arrival time zero? See, every process having zero arrival time, so it will become twelve minus zero twelve, thirteen minus zero thirteen, and fourteen minus zero fourteen. Now we should find the average turn around time. So what we'll do, we'll sum up all these three, all these three, and we'll divide by three because there are only three processes are executing in the running state. The average turn around time equal to twelve plus thirteen plus fourteen divided by three. I think we get thirty nine by three. So how much? I think thirteen. Yes, thirteen. So answer will be. Thirteen millisecond. There are four options given in the question, so answer will be thirteen is the right answer. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. Thank you.